Hello everyone, this is Jason Mutlak from StellarMate. In this video, you will be talking about using Ecos Polar Alignment Assistant tool from within Ecos Live. So to use the tool, please point your mount at the celestial pole with the weights down. And after you do that, you need to connect to Ecos Live server. And then you can either start your profile from here or you can start it from Ecos Live. It doesn't really matter what choice you make in this regard. Okay, so now I'm using Ecos Live on my Samsung tablet. And after we go to the website, we simply log in. And now we have the profile already running. So if you go to the Polar tab, you can here select the options, which tells us if you want to use the pinning, etc. And then to start, you simply just click the play button. And now this is will take the care, full care of the whole process. So it will rotate the mount 30 degrees west, and it will do it another time. Oh wait, yes, I forgot that my mount is actually parked. So let me unpark it first. Okay, now let's go to Polar. Let's abort the process and restart again. All right, there we go. So the Ecos Polar Alignment Assistant tool needs to take three images. Now it just captured the first image. It's going to process it and then move on to capture the next image after it makes a 30 degree rotation to the west. Now it's doing for the second capture. And from the settings here, you see the refresh setting. So after this is all done, you need to refresh the image. So by default, it's one second. You can change it to any value you like. Okay, now it's performing the second rotation. And now it's doing the third and final capture. So I already ran actually this um, a few days ago and I got really good results. Okay, there we go. So now it will report the polar er error, which is uh, 56 arc seconds. And if you click on the image itself, it should expand and shows you a zoomed view of the polar correction vector. So you, want, you need to move a star on the magent magenta line. Uh, if you click reset view, it will take a full view image. And if you just use your finger, you can snap it to anywhere. So usually to snap it to a bright star and then you move the bright star to the center of the crosshair using the altitude and azimuth knobs of your mount. If you click refresh, it will begin taking images for this region. And as you move the knobs, the azimuth and altitude knobs of your mount, you should be able to center it. In my case, I'm just going to leave it as is um, 56 or, or one arc minute is not too bad. Now, after you're done, you can just uh, simply press the stop button and then that ends the process. Now, you can double check your work by going to east side. So it's now it's going to go 30 degrees east until it reaches its initial parking position. And uh, that's that's pretty much it. That's how you do the polar alignment in Ecos Live. It's pretty easy and straightforward to use. I hope you guys enjoyed this short tutorial and clear skies.